Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a lower body focused flexibility practice. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in butterfly. You can bring the soles of your feet together. Your knees out nice and wide and feel free to slide your feet a little bit further away so that you can keep your spine nice and long. Place your hands on your knees, close your eyes, take a big breath in and big breath out. Do that again. Nice big inhale and let it go. Awesome. You guys, one more really big breath in and out. And if you want to stay sitting tall, you definitely can do so. Or if you want to add a tip forwards, get into your hips a little bit more. Feel free to start to lean forwards. Just let the chest fall as far as it wants to without putting any effort into it, without pulling yourself down. Just tip forwards. And maybe let your head get a little heavier as well. And just really feel the next breath you take. Feel the air coming into your body as you inhale. Feel it leaving with the exhale. Awesome, you guys. With an inhale, start to lift back up through your upper body. We're going to send our left leg out to the side. So out nice and wide. Keep your right leg bent, half a straddle. You can point your toes up towards the ceiling. Maybe push your fingertips into the floor beside you. But with an inhale, lengthen through the spine. You can stay sitting tall or you can add a tip forward. Maybe a little rock of the shoulders, side to side. Feel the love through that inner leg. You can keep pointing your toes up towards the ceiling. Nice job, you guys. And if you are tipping forwards, use an inhale to bring yourself back up. And we're just going to pivot towards that left leg. So keep your left leg out. Bring your right foot to your inner thigh. Now your leg is going straight out in front of you. Take an inhale, lengthen. And exhale, tipping forwards. Keep pointing your toes up towards the ceiling. Soften the shoulders. Ah, just letting the chest fall as far as it wants to without any effort. Nice job, you guys. Using an inhale to lift back up through the upper body. And we're just going to pivot back so that we're facing forwards again. And you can start to bring your left leg in and send your right leg out wide. Half a straddle. So bring your leg out, point your toes up towards the ceiling, maybe pushing into the fingertips a little bit, finding your center. And then if you'd like to tip forwards or add a little shoulder rock side to side, you can do whatever feels good for you today. Awesome work, you guys. Using an inhale to lift back up through the upper body and just pivoting towards your leg. Bring your foot to your inner thigh. Flex your foot as you point your toes up towards the ceiling and folding forwards. Feel that nice stretch through that leg. Awesome work, you guys. Taking an inhale as you lift back up through your upper body. You can start to pivot again so you're facing forwards and bring your feet to the floor. Bend your knees. Give yourself a little hug, a little rock side to side even. Shake it out. Awesome, you guys. So we're going to lean back a little bit here and bring our feet to our mat. So bring your feet about mat width apart. And then we're gonna let our knees fall over towards the left side. If you wanna rock your knees side to side a couple times, you can do that. And then start to let the knees fall towards the left. So you have options. You could start to lift your right hip and try to bring your right knee as close to the floor as you can get it. Or you can keep your right hip down. We wanna feel some love through that outer quad, that outer right hip. So whether you're keeping your hip down or if you're lifting it up, 
to drop the knee a little bit more. You can decide what feels best and what feels right for you. But you can also cross the left foot over top of the right knee for a little extra weight. Nice job, you guys. And if you have your legs crossed, let that left foot come back down. Slowly lift those knees, maybe rock it out just a little bit. And then we can switch sides. Let your knees fall over towards the right. Decide if you want the knees to hover. You want to keep that left hip down or pretty much down. Or if you want to twist a little bit more. This one feels different for me every time. So I can find a nice stretch when my hip is down. I can find my <laughs> nice stretch when the, the hip is lifted and the knee is down. But play with it. Try both, maybe. Awesome job, you guys. Uncross your legs. If you cross them, slowly start to bring your knees back up. Rock it out. Nice job, you guys. And then we're going to send both of our legs out nice and long. Keep your right leg out. We're going to roll onto our right hip and then bend the left leg. So you can grab onto your foot, encourage your heel towards your glute, or you might try to come to seated and bring your heel beside your hip. Right leg out long. You can lean back in this. You could even plant your right foot. That's gonna just help square your hips a little bit more. You might get the quad, you might get the shin, you might get the top of the ankle. You might even get the hip flexor. And you can also take it a little further if you want to come down onto the forearms or all the way down onto your back. Ah, so good. Wherever you decided to go, just, just breathe. Awesome work, you guys. If you are laying down or you're on your forearms, just slowly start to lift back up. You can send your right leg out. Roll back over to the right side so you can send your left leg out as well. And before we switch sides, send both of your legs out long, lengthen through the spine, point your toes up, and take a forward fold. Again, let's just try to let the chest and the upper body decide how much we tip forwards without any effort. Just gravity. <laughs> Soften through the shoulders. And then when you are ready, let an inhale help you lift back up. You can start to roll to the left side. Keep the left leg out, bending that right leg, grabbing the foot, staying here or Trying to bring that chin down towards the floor if it's comfortable, if your knee allows you to do so. Bring your heel beside your hip, maybe planting that left foot, maybe lowering all the way down onto your back, somewhere in between. <sighs> A whole lot of options. <laughs> We'll just be meeting back in our forward fold again. So finding your way there from wherever you are. Flexing the feet, maybe even giving your legs a little bit of a shake. But take an inhale as you lengthen. And an exhale to fold forwards. Letting gravity and the chest decide how far you fold. Just let your hands rest or your arms rest wherever they fall. Nice job, you guys. Taking an inhale as you lift up. You can bend your knees, plant your feet, give yourself another hug, a little rock side to side. And then we're going to sit 
cross-legged or in double pigeon. So if you were able to stack your lower legs on top of one another, you can bring one foot on top of your knee and your other knee on top of your other foot, or you can simply sit cross-legged. But if you're coming into double pigeon, let's flex our feet, point our toes forwards. If you have something to place in between this space, if there is a space, you can place a pillow or a block or something in between there. And you might be leaning back a little bit, keeping your spine long, your feet flexed. Or you might, once again, let gravity take your chest forwards. Keep flexing the feet. And just tip forwards. Feeling the love for that top leg. The outer hip, the glute. And with an inhale, you can slowly start to lift back up. We're gonna send our legs out wide into a nice wide, like a straddle, both of our legs out long, out wide, before we switch sides. So point those toes up, maybe a little rock side to side. You can keep your hands on the floor behind you, nice long spine, or again, let gravity take your chest and see how far you can fold without putting any effort into it, other than flexing the feet, pointing the toes up. Awesome work, you guys, using an inhale to help you come back up. You can bring your legs back in. We're gonna cross our legs or find our double pigeon going the other way. So bring your other leg on top or cross your legs the opposite way, flexing those feet, so trying to stack those lower legs on top of one another. If you are going for that double pigeon, lean back, maybe place a towel or something under your knee, or just tip forwards, see what happens, see how it feels. Beautiful, you guys, using an inhale as you lift all the way back up. Uncross your legs, plant your feet, give yourself a little hug, a little rock side to side. And then we will find our way back into just one more butterfly. Bring the soles of your feet together, your knees out wide. You might want to scoot your hips a little closer to your heels this time. Push your fingers into the floor behind you, lengthen through the spine. Stay sitting tall or maybe a little tip forwards. The closer your heels are to your hips, the more you might uh, stay sitting tall. You might not be able to fold quite as far if your heels are nice, nice and close, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can fold right down. Just resisting the urge to pull yourself down, hanging onto the feet. Just let your arms dangle, your hands rest. And then one last breath here. Using an inhale to bring yourself all the way back up. Awesome work, you guys. You could stay in butterfly or maybe cross your legs again. But bring your hands together in front of your heart. That is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.